Hello my friends, my name is Wiyadi and welcome back to Smash Open World of Light. We are here in the great pixelated maze. It is time to warp. I don't know where I'm going or where I'm going to end up or what to find here. Oh, we can fight this dude and we can uncover more land. So that's always good. Uh, so welcome back to Smash Ultimate World of Light. Today we're playing as Isabel in amongst all the other mains and, and characters that we're going to unlock today. But first, we play Isabel against Shulk as Proto Man EXE or something or other. I, I'm not familiar with my Mega Man. I'm, I'm sorry. I quite like Isabel. I would say in my, in my list of roster of characters, she's my, my number five go-to pick. I think I'm pretty decent at her. It, it obviously doesn't come across super well whenever I'm playing like... AI battles against, you know, just level 9 opponents or whatever it is, or World of Light spirits, you know, it's it's not easy to convey. But I mean, if you're ever curious about my uh, my, my ability with the characters like Isabel and, and Pichu, you know, I do have a montage, Smash Heroes, you can you can click on the card, wherever it is, to go watch that. And also, don't forget to finish watching this video. I know that's a very <laughs> early plug, but uh, I do highly recommend it. Look at him changing his speed off screen like a mad lad, as if he knew he could recover that. I'd die. Absolutely, my Shulk is not that good compared to my Smash 4 Shulk. And he's not uh, not letting me kill him. Alright, this will be the one. I missed. This will be the one. Right here, roll into it. Oh my god, I called it too, but I just, I didn't believe, I didn't believe hard enough. You know, sometimes you just gotta believe and commit to your moves. And that was my one instance where I did not. There we go. Shulk is out of here. But today we're hopefully going to get quite a lot uncovered because there's a whole lot of like minor spirit battles and a whole lot more area to uncover. We've got a lot of opportunities here to see more of the map and just more exploration, more characters to unlock. We've got a lot to do here today. Look at this big area we just got. Look at this. All colors and shit. It looks a lot like the area that was kind of like in the middle of the map. Only one new fighter I can see there over a bridge. Interesting, interesting. So, uh, I guess I will go... There's a dojo probably there, the chest there. Let's go down this way and see if we can uncover more of this, like, beach area. Urban champion fighter, and we'll switch into our defense! Spirit. <laughs> Mind blanked on what they're called there. You may have noticed some, like, changes in, like, the way the audio sounds between episodes. I've been trying for, like, the past three or four episodes to, uh, to mix up the audio balance and, and general uh, sound of the microphone because I'm still working with this Go XLR, this new device I got here, which uh -huh. oh no has all those silly little buttons on it and all these wild effects and things like that. Here we are. It's a good day for a swell. Oh my god, this gravity is very low. But as you can see, this is a soundboard I'm, I'm still not overly familiar with. Let me go ahead and change it back to normal. So getting used to like the way the audio should be balanced is kind of difficult. And that's why for the last couple of episodes it's it's been fluctuating as I've been trying to experiment with how to change it. I've also been trying to experiment with a way to, to make it sound good while playing this specifically because as you can tell, the GameCube controller is quite loud, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find a way to get the microphone settings so that the GameCube audio won't pick up and it won't cut out my voice. I've noticed that in a few of the recordings I've been saying something and then like the start of a sentence or the end of a sentence has just cut off. It's been really annoying because there's no fix for that once it's recorded. And there's not really any easy fix for it before recording either, other than a lot of trial and error. So I, I'm glad that people have stuck with me to let me figure this whole thing out. I think my audio sounds really good now, at least the quality of the microphone audio. This, unfortunately, is still going to make a lot of noise, but that's just a GameCube problem. And I hope that is OK to deal with. But at the very least, hopefully the microphone sounds nice and clear. It doesn't sound too bassy and doesn't sound too loud and tinny. Oh, I need to get I need to get Lapras for this part. I remember that from the trailer. All right, well, let's beat up this Grim Leecher and unlock this pipe. Left is right, right is left. Oh, for God's sake. Thank God there's a spirit to deny the reverse controls. <laughs> I got a, uh, a skill in my skill tree there, which gives me super armor when I charge smash attacks, and it's going to be the most busted thing for this entire playthrough, I guarantee it. Let's take a look in the orange pipe. I wanted to go more through the maze, but let's see what's through here first, just as a nosy, just to see what is let yet to be uncovered. Ooh, clouds. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. And this is the only- <gasps> Wart! It's K. Rule. Oh. Can I, do I have K. Rule unlocked, actually? Let me check. Fighters. We do have quite a decent amount of characters unlocked. Still below 40, surprisingly. No, I haven't got K. Rule. I was going to do a K. Rule duo. Damn it. That's okay. 
Oh, this terrifying music. We're gonna die. Oh, Peach is here as well. Why? I, do, I don't overly know. Because I don't believe- I don't believe Wart kidnapped Peach. In fact, no. Peach was playable in Mario Bros. 2, so... Don't fully understand that. Isn't it weird how- Continue. <laughs> what? All I wanted to say was, isn't it weird how, how Mario Bros. 2, which wasn't actually a Mario Bros. game to begin with, kind of like, made a whole bunch of series st staples? Fuck you, Carol. Died in like two seconds. Jeez. What are you playing at? Sorry. Wart. Sir Wart. Like, but, but, but how did I die? The, I reflect killed me so hard. It was so painful. I was only at 50%. What was that all about? All right. Go away, clouds. What do we got? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. Ooh. <coughs> we got a cloud airship. We got, whoa. That's cool. Whole bunch of. <gasps> that looks like the hero stage. Uh, Even though hero wasn't out when this came out. Whole bunch of just random spirits. No, no other characters besides this one which we can go and unlock so i will do just that so we got oh no not this uh, oh well, i suppose it makes sense magic can and all that oh well i'll be honest i'm less impressed i was hoping it would be someone more fun no offense to any nest means i just i i don't enjoy playing this i don't enjoy playing against ness uh but i mean he's far from like the worst uh thing to fight in this game in before all the people are like, oh, <laughs> this character works. I don't care. Preferences are preferences. I don't care. For me, Ness is not my my go-to opponent or pl or play. But this shouldn't take too long. Oh, just pick this up, drop it here. He walked over it twice. There we go. And landing the final hit. Nope. Final hit. Final hit. Final hit. Final hit. But right up. What about the final hit though? You like the final hit? I think you like the final. You like the final. Ness, baby, you love the final hit. No, he's not doing it. Matt, you're distracting me. Go away. I'm trying to final hit this Ness. How dare you, sir? Sir, I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Isabel with a gun? You better put your hands up. She'll shoot you. She'll shoot you. She'll do it. We got here a little dojo unlocked. Didn't to didn't toss, didn't toast, didn't 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 did. But we got a little rainbow bridge here that we can't reach for some reason. Uh, it's sparkling as if I could reach it, but maybe I need to get it from the other side. So, doesn't look like there's anything more we can do here. Gotta go back through the pipe, back to the little pixelated maze, and see what else we can do. Victory! And with that little bit of cheese, we've now unlocked a little chest. All for us, that we totally deserved. You know what, he had it coming. Oh, I got Splatoon 2 music. I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. Oh, s oh, this song. Ugh. This is, this is like, for some reason, one of Matthew's favorite songs in the entire game, and I have no idea why. This is, like, not at all his type of music. Or, well, I know he doesn't really have a type of music, but it's, it's so, like, not a Matthew thing. And it's just, like, he's so into this anime music. What's going on here? Oh, I'm against another Isabel. An Isabel cheerleader. Cheerleading Isabel squad. Oh, my God. It's just a nightmare of... It's just a nightmare. It, it's a nightmare... Nightmare... nightmare Stop. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's what, that one's going to hurt in the morning. We've got Lapras right here. So this is handy. This means we can travel on the water once we beat it. So that's pretty nifty. Conditions. You can't swim. It's, it's reaching into my soul just like real life. How does it know I can't swim? And that's Lapras obtained. So now we've got access to surf, which is pretty nifty, which will take us to the bottom of the map there. Uh, and we got... Hi, my name's Sheldon. Welcome to my shop. I have no idea. No idea if he's from Splatoon 1, Splatoon 2. No idea. I don't really want to deal with him. He looks ter Look at the little onion head. What is going on with that guy? <laughs> blow. Blow my little inkling... Oh, shit. My little inkling friends. Just don't blow me down. Don't blow the man down. Don't blow, don't blow the little yellow dog down. This is a lot harder to blow these guys away than I expected it to be. No, 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 they're all dead. They're all, they've all died. Well, not all of them. Actually, only one of them died. That was very pitiful, to be honest. And with that, we got access to Sheldon's place. What a clever name. Oh my God. How did he think of it? But I need to go deeper and examine his mind, that little onion headed mind. All right, let's travel on Lapras and see where this is going to take us. Anything exciting, new characters to, to find and explore? Ooh, is that... Is that the is that the Southern Isle and the Eon ticket thing? 
Oh, will this give us access to down here? <gasps> Which is where the boss fight is. Big brain. We could be fighting a boss. Maybe not in this episode, but definitely soon. Alrighty then. Let's see. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at this lovely island. Who could this be? Honestly, I have no idea who would be on an island all by themselves, on their own, by themselves. Mewtwo, maybe. Have I got Mewtwo? <gasps> no, I couldn't be. I need to, I need to enhance. Because this is like an island, say like a, a southern island, because this has cream and cheese, because that was Green Hill Zone, because it's kind of off on its own, its own little world. Could this be him? No, <laughs> it's fucking me, Gunner. No! <laughs> I mean, yes, it was a bit of a stretch, but it could have been Sonic. I mean, it isn't, it, it, and it probably wasn't going to be. I don't know, I was reaching for straws because I was hopeful, but you know what? Me Gunner is fine. I've just realized that I forgot that I'm supposed to be playing as the characters I unlock. Thankfully, I've only unlocked one character today, but it does mean we'll play as we fit. No, <laughs> we'll play as me Gunner, uh, as well as whoever else we unlock today. I forgot who it was already, but that's fine. I'm sure they're super important. Uh, it was Ness. God damn it, it's not that important. Give me your ball. Give me your ball of good energy. Look at this island. This old man's not in New Horizons yet. I'm sure he'll be just squeezed in at some point, just like all the other content. <laughs> Controversial opinion time. I don't really care. Like, you know, end of the day, it was gonna be, it, it, if it's stuff that was, I don't know. I don't know what my opinions on New Horizons are. I like it, it's a good game. I, I, I don't I mean in terms of like content that was quote unquote removed or or held back for for, for free updates in the day the game is is solid enough on its own it, it doesn't really matter what way they're handling it it'd be nice if it was all in the in the game from the get-go and they just rolled out over the time but I suppose the reason why they're doing it through updates is so that people can't just time travel to every major event in the game I suppose but at the same time, they don't discourage time traveling. The only thing they ruin is your turnips. So it's not that big a deal. How's your turnip prices doing? I made quite a lot of money one day and it really pissed off my friends. That was some funny shit. All right, let's go ahead and switch into Ness and see how we can do with him. Where is he? Ness was one of the first characters in the game. There he is. Little shit. Oh yes, if you play Animal Crossing New Horizons, what is the highest you've sold your turnips for? I went over to my friend James's island. I was intending to sell at 200 because that was, Jesus Christ, that was massive. Uh, because I had bought for like a hundred, for like 106 or something. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I'll go for at least double. That'll be me happy. And he messaged me at 11.55 AM. I was like, yeah, come over and sell your turnips. And I'm just like, well, if I can get there on time, I have three loads to bring over. So it might be a while. Uh, so yeah, I spent over a million bells on those turnips or something like that. Um, and then whenever, uh, whenever I eventually went to his island, it, 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 it was too late. The time had changed, which meant that the turnip prices had changed. So it was no longer 200 bells. And that was a really sad time for me because unfortunately what it meant was my friends sold their bells at 200 and then I sold them for 567. Wow. I made so much money. I made millions of bells. And that's entirely their own fault. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to sell him at that price, but I just didn't get there in time. And it's mostly because he didn't tell me in time. If he had told me 10 minutes earlier, I would have been there 10 minutes earlier. But end of the day, I got my money and we all learned a valuable lesson. That Adam's a dick. Thank God I got this because otherwise this fight would not be going well. It hasn't been going well so far anyway. Oh, geez. Yes! I wasn't sure if that was gonna work or not. Oh my god, he's just he's just fucking dead. Look at him. Emperor Bulbox. Yum, look at you can even see the saliva in the tongue. I don't need to see that, Nintendo. No no no. So I think we all know what has to come next. We got me gunner to play as, which means the only thing we have to do is play as the most ridiculous introduction of a character. It's Sans. Because why not? Why? Like, of all characters, they're like, okay, you know what? People wanted sense in the game. That's fine. But then they were it, like, everyone was kind of like, oh, you know what? It's probably never going to happen. It's kind of unreasonable. And then Sans is just like, hey, I'm a costume now. Like, cool. Okay. Well, this came out of nowhere. And then we got a remix of, of Megalovania just like that. Mega 
Sounds over here just killing a goddess like it's no big deal. There he is. Well, that's enough of uh, the old Sans nonsense. Uh, I didn't really get enough time to actually talk about me Gunner at all, um, which is fine. I, I don't really care. Uh, me Gunner, I'm not a big fan of the Mies in general. Definitely not a big fan of me Gunner, uh, and especially don't like playing against them. For a while there, me Gunner was just like one of the most common characters online. Definitely Sans helped that. And there's some weird jank to him. Like his, fight, his smash attack goes way further than I expect. The up smash, or no, the forward smash. Uh, so like a lot of times like he can just cover get up uh, off of ledge and uh, roll just by forward smashing which lasts way too long and it's, it's just not super fun to fight against and then also because he's a me like he's got a bunch of jank like uh, projectiles and special moves and it's kind of weird to fight against um, but you know what people got what they wanted in terms of a, a me costume of course we also got cuphead which I didn't play as and you also didn't get to see my own custom me but you know what who cares pretty much me gunner at this point is nothing more than sans and cuphead and whoever else they decide to release but right now it's just mainly sans is the go-to although I haven't seen a sans online in a long time I think people have just gone back to just playing as who they like to play as, so that's neat, I suppose. Uh, but it's nice that, you know, people got something, and it's also nice that we got a music track with it, because, like, having Mega Lavinia alongside Sans is kind of like an ultimate way to, to represent that franchise. Like, that's it. They don't need to do anything else. They could if they want to. I'm not saying that I do or don't want it. I personally wouldn't care either way. I would say rather not. But for the people who did want it, they've got the most banging song in the game, and they got Sans as a costume. A pretty fearful costume and then cuphead is the same it's like we got a pretty fearful cuphead costume and i didn't think cuphead would be represented in smash at all but there you go we got a jungle to explore and we got shantae now that would be a good fighter i'd like to see that because she could have some shit hold on she could have some wild moves uh let's go ahead and switch into that one but fighters pass 2 we're still only getting the information of just the arms wrap which I don't know why there's an arms rep, but you know what? Whatever. I think it's too little too lit, but do what you want to do, I guess. There's someone I don't miss in New Horizons. This little sh shit frog guy that sings. Most irritating part of New Leaf. Jesus Christ. Don't like him. <laughs> I'm being needlessly uh, uh, mean against him, but I, I just really didn't enjoy the boat rides. Honestly, kind of surprised that we're this close to the boss fight. I wasn't expecting to go down here and do all this already. Like, where are we in terms of the map? Let's Let's look. I think this is pretty much the most bottom right hand corner of the map we can uncover like I don't think we're gonna find more to the right hand side and that pipe that blue pipe is from all the way back at like the start of the game we've had that like connected area so we've we've done a good bit of progress today we might even do the whole boss fight depending on however the layer goes once we get in and see it but uh, who knows we got Alfonso and engineer link this is, this is also another example of why I think Shadow slash Waluigi or whoever else could be like a potential character. Like, you've, you've got here Alfonso doing the train stuff, and if, if Toon Link is not on the on the fight, then he's the conductor. When they could have just had Alfonso the entire time, but no, they intentionally put Toon Link in there. Despite the fact that they knew he was going to be in the game that he was, uh, he was, inter that, that this stage was introduced in. So it's interesting, it's like, yeah, no, they, they do have the capability of just replacing something in the game depending on what characters are on the screen so you could put waluigi in the game and take out the assist trophy or you could put shadow in the game and replace the assist trophy with say silver it could work and it would make sense contextually because silver does use chaos control or even yet you could just leave it as shadow since there were shadow androids and shadow the hedgehog i know i'm really just trying my luck here but i mean shadow would be such a cool fighter and really should have been an echo at least it's kind of stupid that he wasn't included but we got fucking can Yes, I'm still salty about that, Ken. You're an asshole with no personality. Oh, 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 what's happened? <gasps> I got the train! Well, that's good. You know what? It's a good thing we went down here then, because now we have more access up there. Look at all those accessible locations. <sighs> Spicy. I can't go to the right. Presumably, maybe when I beat these guys up, I'll be able to go left and right, which will be pretty sweet. And then we can go all the way back to the other side of the map. Oh, jeez, Rick! I'm just a Pikachu, Rick. You don't want to kill me, Rick. Oh, jeez. And now, the path is clear. In we go into Stonehenge, of all places, to fight Forest Hill. Oh, it's Rathalos. Okay. 
Interesting. He's just gonna chill in the middle there. All right, well, let's have a look around and see what we got. We got a fighter there under a tree. We got a button, by the looks of it. That looks important. It's not a huge area, but we can do it. Rathalos seems to be like pretty much like right at the start of the area as well. Okay, let's do it, Bronto Bert. Interesting name. <laughs> well, that's all this music makes me think of. Is just, yeah, get along, little doggy. Get along, little deadness. He's dead into it. Go. Rabble of evil mushroom. Look, I don't want to nitpick. I mean, if, if, the, if the idea is like the world is like frozen in time, then fair enough. But this, <laughs> this waterfall just being like a flat image with no animation. Not gonna NGL, not gonna lie. Kinda weak. What's his button do? Oh, we building bridges, boys and girls. <gasps> is this gonna lead me towards the fighter? It is. Let's go see who it is. See who we can get. Oh, Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Oh, maybe it's Zelda. That would make sense. And the results are in. Oh, it's Toon Link. I would have expected them somewhere a lot more toony and a lot more wind wickery, water, boats. That island, for example. They could have put me Gunner here. I don't know, it just seems a bit strange, honestly. All right, well, we got a Toon Link to unlock and a Toon Link to fight as. I will not be using Toon Link for the Rathalos fight because I just don't want to. Uh, Toon Link is not a bad wee character. He's actually kind of fun to play as. Uh, he's wildly quick, which can be quite irritating to fight against. My friend Matthew is a is a Link main, and by that I mean he plays all three Links. And uh, while original Link is quite annoying to deal with and young Link is also the, all of them are just annoying little shits to deal with look at that you just made that back like it was nothing but toon link like he swipes so hard and so fast sometimes with his moves and then he's just very quick to boot it's, it's it's just wild like a lot of his moves are just really really quick which is good you need a quick link but the amount of damage i put he can do as well because of it is kind of insane I don't know if that's just me getting hit by everything too much, or if it's just the way that he's built that he is actually that good. He feels a lot better than he looks, in my opinion. That's all I have to say about that. Rambi! I love Rambi from Donkey Kong Country. I need the defense one. And then I need to switch in to Toon Link. And like, Toon Link, I think, is probably one of the most successful Links <laughs> out of a possible three. Just because, like, he's not as heavy and he's not as, like, I mean, he's probably technical, but he's not as hard to pick up and play, I don't think. Uh, just because the other Links are kind of like, they're a bit slower. I mean, Young Link isn't that slow, but I feel like still comparatively to like Toon Link, I think Toon Link's probably the quickest. Just by general feel that I, I get, I might be wrong. But that's maybe just because Toon Link has like a lot, like those up tilts are quick, those back airs are quick. Like he's got a lot more of like actual, like up close combat to him. Did he just kill himself? No, okay. Than, than say the other ones. I th like Young Link has a lot of it uh, once he, he gets like his... his... <sighs> you ever you ever just feel like such a small brain? Such a small, small brain. Young Link definitely gets his uh, his like up close game going, but only once he like lands like say like a boomerang or, or an arrow, like it, it's always gonna be something that like leads into something. And then you have to like know exactly how to follow it up. Whereas with Young Link, I think you can kind of be a bit more free flowing. Like you can just throw it up B and it'll just work. Also, that is one of the most obnoxious, annoying things, just spamming up B and it works. Well, not spamming it, but like just using it when it's really, really like, in my opinion, not the best move to go for. And then you just throw it out there, but it lasts so long and keeps you held for so long that like, I honestly just don't expect it to work the amount of times that it works. That or Matthew is just really big brain at throwing it out the amount of times that he does. And I get hit by it every time because I'm a dumbass. Could be, could be, stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna up B kill you. No, that didn't work. All right, well, no, none of this, none of whatever you're about to do. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Don't wanna die here. I'm gonna die here. He's not going into my move. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting pummeled. Good thing it's just a charge. Uh, smash, final smash. All right, you need to die, DK. You're on 174. Up B kill. Oh my god, he fell out of it last second. There we go. Just gonna put the controller down and win. If he survives this, I swear to god. 
Okay, good. I would have committed to dying there if I if I didn't secure that win. I would have just let myself fall and be like, I deserve this. This is what I this is what needs to happen. What we got here? It's a snack! Nom nom nom! Why is he just chilling in the middle? I don't get it. It's the it's the oddest like setup for a boss. He's just chilling in the middle. Easy to access. There's also a little spot here that looks like you should be able to access, like right here. It looks like you should be able to go up right. Maybe after I get your man, but it, I don't know. It looks like you should be, but I imagine you probably don't. All right, the place looks nice. I've only left this one spirit because this looks like it's kind of important, so I'm going to wait. It's Rathalos time. Oh, but bye. You know, you know, I can I can just I can go if if you want to take a bit of time for yourself. I can come. I'm just going to come over. See how you're doing. You're doing good, bud. We could it. No, you got it. We just not going to fight. All right. Well, Guys, I think Rathalos is a bitch. Come on, man. You want to fight? I'm back. Come on. He's probably going to go up at the top, and that's going to be his, his fight location. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to go up. Wait, wait. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe I have to convince him to go up that way. So if I do this, he's going to go back in the middle. So I need to go up and around to push him to the left. Then I need to go below and push him up. Ah, uh, you see? It's a puzzle. It's a shit puzzle, but it's a puzzle nonetheless. I'm on. I've got it. So I'm gonna go left, and I'm gonna make him run up, cause he's a scared little dragon. He's so scared, he went that way. It's not where I expected him to go. Rathalos, would you like to go up? Up to fuck. I'm going this way. Go up the hill. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Run out of spaces to go. You see? You just... Oh, what you gotta do? You go, you go cry. You're gonna piss your pants. Maybe shit and come. Stop being a bitch. I just need to take out that one guy, and then I'm coming up to fuck your day up. Melia, oh, from Xenoblade. All right, you little pansy. It's time to put him up. It's Rathalos time. We actually have music for this one. Uh, let's see. What? Uh, we don't want a final smash with her. Critical hit. That could be good. Hyper smash attacks. That could be good. I did think I wanted the, wanted the Franklin badge. With my hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, Rathalos. <laughs> Looks so happy to be here. All right, let's take him out. Of course, this is one of like the fights from the classic mode campaign that they were like really like, hey, look who's in the game. He gets his own special like battle arena, and everyone was like, is this the story mode before like World of Light was even revealed? But uh, I mean, I mean, fair enough. You give him his own area. It, it's pretty neat. They probably could have, like, put a Monster Hunter rep in, like, I, I mean, I suppose, like, Byleth kind of fits the role, having multiple different weapons and stuff, but, I don't know, I'm not fussy either way. I don't, I don't need another warrior with weapons character type thing, but, end of the day, I got the characters in the game that I want, so I, I don't really care about, uh, who, like, there's nothing else that I need, so let people have what they want, is basically what I'm trying to say. Give me that thing, let me throw it at your ass, he didn't go down. Oh, I do a lot of smash attack damage. Is this going to be a first time win? No, probably not. I'm just going gonna, gonna to get hit, slapped about quite a bit. Give me, the, give me the pitfall. Give me the pitfall. He's not going down. Usually they take a, a hit and they... That was a very good spot dodge from me. Uh, if I do say so myself. But usually they take a, a big hit and then they, they get stunned for a while. But he's just not doing it. Let me get over you, Rathalos, you big dragon fuck. I've never actually played a Monster Hunter. I didn't really know much of the series' existence up until, like, probably recent years. Not, like, super recent, but, like, recent enough where, like, I never played it or heard of it as a kid. So I never had, like, a chance to experience it uh, back then and have it ingrained in my childhood like most other games. But uh, I probably wouldn't play them. They don't look like my kind of game. Like, you know, monster fighting games. It's just like, nah, I don't really... Don't re I'm not really interested. Don't really care. That's not to say that the games are bad or anything like that. Like, just it's just not my thing, and it's never drawn my attention to it personally. Jesus! All right, give me this. You want to get knocked down? I missed. He is really determined to get me beaten here. I want to win this first try. That'd be pretty, pretty epic, gamers. I just need to focus. Oh, there we go. He finally went down. Give him a good up smash. Forward air, forward air. Oh no, this is it. This is it. First time win. First time win. Yeah! <laughs> First try. No cuts in between as well. Oh, mate. Isabel, give a wave. You earned it. 
and that's it. We beat a, we beat a boss. I wasn't even expecting to do a boss today. But there you have it. That brings us to the end of the episode, but we might have a little thing here to see before we end. What's going on, Rathalus? Having a bad day? And he just explodes. He just exploded. And that's probably going to weaken Galim's shields, which is good. Good, good, good. We still have a couple more boss fights, I believe, just based on classic mode. Ah, the island is now pure. We got this whole island cleared out in this entire episode. That was brilliant. We did a lot today. <gasps> His shield is gone? Can I fight him now? I don't want to. I want to unlock all the fighters first. No, I... I can actually fight him. I... Well, I assume so. The shield protecting Galim is gone, gamers. Galim is gone. Crab Raven! Now, well, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Next time, we will continue to unlock more fighters and un unlock more of the map. Uh, we won't be fighting Galim right away. I, I want to see if going up to him does anything, but I don't want to accidentally start a fight with him that I'm not ready for. I mean, I'd probably be ready for it, but I want to get all the fighters before we fight him. So, oh, cut this in. The bridge is broken. So now we can go back over there and that one's busted too. I even said that in the episode. I said that. And I was like, ah, yeah, this could happen. And then I just walked out, ended the episode, and then it was like, hey, let's do the thing. Remember the thing? So now we can go all the way back over there. We don't need to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, my friends. And I'll see you again next time. How many fingers? Two. Goodbye. Goodbye. G goodbye. Hit me. Hit me with a blast.